everybody and welcome back to Brailsford Family Homestead. Tonight for what's for dinner is chili. And I looked in my pantry, I have all these dry beans, but I only have canned red beans, small red beans. So I'm just gonna give the Instapot a, a shot at cooking dry beans without soaking. Everybody says you can do it. I've never done this, so hey, why not? So if you wanna start this out with canned beans, whether they're home canned beans, or store-bought beans, go ahead and gather those. I, I usually use a lot of beans. I would say if you're buying canned beans, you're gonna need at least four cans for what I'm doing, but you know, whatever you like, how much beans, I know. If you don't like beans in your chili, well, maybe this is not the video for you. <laughs> so anyway, right now I have got two cups of dried kidney beans. In my Instant Pot, I am going to add um, eight cups of water and put it in the Instapot um, in high pressure for 35 minutes and then let it naturally release. And then I'll get started with my chili recipe. You can make this chili on the stove top. I just often like to do it in the Instapot because it saves me time. I'm like probably everyone else watching this, I have a lot of stuff going on. And it, if I can get something done quicker, then that's a definite bonus. And also it doesn't heat up the kitchen. This is still summer for us. So it's one less thing <laughs> to make it hot in here. For this chili recipe, I'm gonna use my homemade chili seasoning, which I need to do a video on that for you, I guess. <laughs> I'll try and link that below. Um, I'm gonna use bone broth, store-bought broth, or even just water will work too. You're gonna to need a minimum of four cans of beans, but probably more. Uh, some diced tomatoes, and then I like to put like a tablespoon or so of tomato paste in mine as well. If you buy a can of tomato paste, then you can just take it out in tablespoons and freeze it and then keep it in the freezer and just use one at a time. And then um, meat, yes, I put meat in my chili, <laughs> meat and beans. So I'm gonna be using ground pork today just because that's what I have an abundance of right now. But obviously ground beef or turkey or something would work too. And then I'm also going to be having some of this, some of my fresh made sourdough bread today. So let's get cooking. All right guys, my beans are done. So we're ready to put the chili together. So I got eight cups, or sorry, six cups of these kidney beans from doing it in the Instapot that way. But as I said, you could use canned beans as well. I just wanted to use kidney beans and I didn't have any cooked up. So if I want some more based on looks, I am going to use some of my home canned uh, small red beans. And I need to start working on cooking up and canning some more dry beans. But I've got my pound of ground pork from our pigs here. Obviously ground beef or store-bought will work as well. This is just what I have. I substitute pork often just because it's what I have. I don't um, raise my own beef maybe someday, but I do buy grass-fed beef from a local farm. I just don't have any right now. So my ever crusty chopper, I'm gonna brown. I just have the Instant Pot on saute. And we're going to brown this up. You wanna see? The meat is browned and chopped up nicely. So I'm gonna go ahead and start adding other ingredients. This is my homemade chili seasoning. I am gonna do a video on that, um, but I'm gonna wait until I'm able to make my own chili chili powder. If you wanna know about that, I'll put the that video up there, the difference. <laughs> I'm going to put about, oh, three tablespoons or so in there. Um, I'm not sure how much chili seasoning is in a packet, if that's what you choose to use. I guess just put a packet in, I have no idea. 
I know that that wouldn't be too much. I just am not familiar with the amounts or anything. Okay, I am going to, I have not salted this at all, so I, and I'm, most everything that I'm using doesn't already have salt, so I am going to put a good little lot of salt in there. And I have some of my home canned tomatoes. So if you are using, um, there's Bonnie. Nope, nothing for you, doggy. Not yet. And not chili. <laughs> if you're going to use uh, store-bought canned tomatoes, then buy the large can. Uh, I forget how many. I think the large can is like 28 ounces. Just get the, bar the big can. <laughs> but I am going to use two. And also, if you have small cans, then just use two cans for these, so like four. Ch chili is I mean, something that you can just, there's no right or wrong. I mean, if you like the way that this looks, then that's good. You add some more if you want more tomatoes. And especially if you're trying to make this for a bunch of people, then the things that you like, just add more. You <laughs> can stretch it out farther, so... Now I'm going to put in all of those kidney beans that I made earlier and see if I want any more. That looks good, but I think I actually want to add some more tomatoes. I'm not sure. Hmm. And I was gonna add broth, but there's a lot of liquid from those tomatoes because I didn't drain them. So I think I'm just going to leave that alone. It'll be enough um, liquid for the Instapot to function properly. Mm, I might just get another pint of tomatoes. I am going to, to add this. This is some tomato paste. I had mentioned earlier about freezing it because I, mean, I haven't been making my own tomato paste. I buy it. All right, I decided I do want some more tomatoes, so I went ahead and got a pint here. So I realized that's a lot, but you know, with chili, it's like go big or go home, right? I mean, who makes a small little <laughs> batch of chili? Yes, that looks much, much better. Now I may want to add more chili seasoning or salt, but I will wait until this is cooked and taste it the end so this looks really good I'm going to uh, I'll press cancel first because it was still on saute mode I'm gonna put the lid on set it to seal then pressure cook and we're gonna do this for eight minutes is all I know it doesn't seem like a uh, long but that's the beauty of the instapot so when this is uh, when this is done, I will let it release by itself. You could, you could push the vent, but I'm gonna let it release by itself because that'll be a really good time for us for eating dinner for my family. So I, when it's all done, I will bring you back and we'll take a taste and see if it needs more seasoning. He is done, as you can see here. If you would like it a little thicker without adding more um, beans or tomatoes, I would suggest uh, draining the t like one of the cans of tomatoes. You still need liquid. So, but I did add an awful lot of liquid with, by adding that last pint, but this will still be delicious. Um, any leftovers we may serve over like baked potatoes, as little baked potatoes another day. You can add sour cream or cheese on them, whatever you want. But this will be delicious. I'm going to eat this with my family. I did taste the chili and I didn't feel like it needed any more seasoning, but of course that's gonna be all personal preference. I really appreciate you guys coming along on this journey and for the episodes of What's For Dinner. If you're liking these videos, I'd really appreciate it if you could give it a thumbs up and even subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for all of your support and for watching. Until next time, God bless.